guys how are you doing um welcome to another video um and today i wanted to share some korean resources for you that are actually for free because lately a lot of them are starting to be like a subscription and maybe some of you who are still starting to learn korean don't want to get a subscription or maybe you're just broke uh which is totally fine um uh, me too uh, so uh, I just wanted to share some beginner but also intermediate uh, resources. Um, I think they also can be for advanced ones. Some of them, uh, yeah, I'm still not on the advanced level so I can't give you like the best recommendations for it. Uh, yeah, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Lina and I talk about languages, uh, especially Korean. Chinese. Don't be confused. Uh, I have like a list here uh, with some of the resources. Um, the first one, which I actually use now as my one of the main uh, resources, is how to study Korean. Um, they are still for free, and also I like the, the lessons a lot. I when I started to learn Korean, I used them and also talk to me in Korean. So. Back then, it's now almost 10 years ago when I first like learned Hangul. Um, Talk to me Korean was also still for free and also their audio was on SoundCloud. Uh, yeah, so maybe some of you now know they have like a subscription. Uh, I had some books from them. Yeah, but I'm now more on the how to Korean, um, how to study Korean uh, website, uh, especially because I didn't learn Korean like for a while actively, so as you maybe now heard, uh, I think 2015 was the first time when I learned Hangul, but maybe, yeah, so in 2018 I had like a Korean class, but since then it was always on and off, so I'm okay with understanding, but I say I'm like really good, so maybe I'm like intermediate but more on the lower side yeah but this is just too much tmi so i'm sorry about that yeah so how to study korean is a pretty good resource and and the lessons are all for free uh, if you want to have the pdf then you, i think you need to buy them but they're also not so expensive i just uh, like to take notes but this is just more a me thing I'm in general take a lot of notes and just write down like paragraphs and not only paragraphs maybe also sometimes like the whole site um yeah it's a lot of time waste but it's like the only method I can learn uh, another uh, great website and also app in just in general I also just found this app is Loe lesson so I will write it down or maybe um, maybe link it down below I only heard about it because uh, of someone I, I can't remember who but I saw it on Instagram um, yeah and they have also free Korean lessons uh, with like a lot of important vocabulary for beginner students but also for intermediate uh, they have in an inactive uh, web-based learning uh, basic conversation courses speaking drills yeah so it's a pretty cool thing uh, yeah and as i said it's good for beginners but also for intermediate learners another good um, resource which is also for free is uh, good job korean but good job korean um there is only like the Hangul class for free, the other ones you need to pay. Uh, so if you are still like a beginner beginner and want to learn Hangul, um, I will recommend it to you because I also just like a little bit looked at it and I, pre I pretty enjoyed it so I didn't need to learn Hangul because I already know it. Uh, yeah, and then there's also a side which is called Life Lingua uh, and they have like a lot a lot of 
free materials also for beginners and intermediate so uh, there's like a lot a lot of stuff like I think seven books they have uh, yeah so some of them are more on the older side but I think um, they are still pretty good to use especially if you just want to learn like a specific thing um, yeah so I don't use it right now my own maybe I want to try it later on some uh, but I just saw that they are for free and I just think a few years ago I used like some just uh, pages from the workbooks but not everything and they have also like audio and everything so it's pretty cool especially if you're just starting out and uh, still don't know if you want to get like the books yeah or uh, in general uh, then there's also an udemy uh, class which is a topic grammar through 100 patterns but there's also only like the first one of this topic in 100 pattern is for free uh, the other ones they are like I think 10 euros right now uh, yeah so it's okay but still uh, maybe you want to try it out and then you're saying oh yeah I really like this car so as you see um, I have right now a lot of free courses recommendations um, but if you're searching for also a site where you have courses but also free workbooks uh, then I would recommend you the uh, Sojong um, University or uh, Sojong Language School um, if you sign up at their site first of all you can also take classes but then you need to look it up when the classes start because some of them are for free but they still have like a date when they are starting so you just can't just start it without like the teacher uh, I think some of them are paid but I mostly use um, their books because I like the workbooks they're pretty great uh, also because I think they're kind of based around the topic um, exams so you learn uh, everything needed if you want to take the topic exams yeah so if you want to take the topic exams uh, of course I will, would recommend you like the topic books uh, I'm still thinking myself to take it because I never took it uh, actually so yeah we will see if you have any other questions um, just ask or also if you have your own recommendations for some resources that are free so I just um, chat a few and uh, there are more courses uh, yeah so if you have like other recommendations of course there's like a lot of things on YouTube and stuff uh, yeah I would be happy if you could um, chat in the comments and if next video hope you have a great day Sorry for the bad lighting, but it's raining like pretty hard right now outside. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!